Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and it's, and yeah, it's cast time, and I'll, I'll explain more why I'm doing this later, but, um, this, originally, I wasn't planning on making one of these, um, again, I'll, I'll kind of explain later, but at the last moment, I decided, fuck it, so I just went ahead and, uh, decided to put together one of these, so, kind of like yesterday, this is a, a slam, bam, dash job, so, there might be a fair amount of mistakes here, so, there wasn't all there wasn't a whole lot of prep time on this and what time there was was pretty much hasty so, so let me go ahead and uh, intro this real quick um, this is gonna be uh, downtown Minneapolis drive at night and I was gonna like yesterday I was looking for some music but I didn't want to go through the whole whole uh, the whole copyright check thing I gotta sit around and I gotta like Download, download the album, then gotta re-upload it to YouTube, and the whole time I'm sitting around spinning my wheels waiting for all this to be taken care of, so I just decided, once again, fuck it, just uh, going with, uh, going with another City Drive video. So. I didn't do a proper sound check on this. So I'm just going to go ahead and say close enough. But anyway, um, and probably wondering why I'm making another cast video. Well, I ended up calling in last night. Um, actually, that started by a, this actually started up when I started streaming. When I started streaming yesterday, um, I was doing it in the middle of a storm. It kind of died down for a while, but towards the evening, it started up again and, and we ended up with a, a severe thunderstorm warning that was supposed to last overnight, and in fact, they even uh, they even uh, threw in a they even added on a tornado watch as well. So, but yeah, but the big thing that I saw was the uh, was the large hail that was supposed to accompany the storm, but uh, it it never happened. So, kind of a. On one end, it was kind of a waste of a good call-in, because I mean, I'm not, I mean, I'm not being paid for these, you know. So, and I'm already working part time, so there, so yeah. But on the other hand, too, you know, when it's a, when it's a severe warning, especially when there's a, when there's potentially large hail involved, meaning I don't want to end up having to total my car because it's getting the shit pounded out of it by all the hail. I mean, yeah, I, you know, I find it better to just err on the side of caution. So, so here I am. Um, but as for today's pinball session, it was actually a really weird session. Just really, really goopy. Just really off kilter. It, but for um, for FX3, it uh, I kind of went the same as yesterday. I mean, on on the mat on some of the matchups and on some of the tournaments, I mean, I really kicked ass. I would kick ass on one table, but then the very next one, I just do horrible. I took for you know, I would I would take first place on one tournament, but then be like dead last on the next one. Like there was like almost no middle ground at all. It's like hot and cold. So oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a drink of some Arizona green tea here. Hold on. But but yeah, it is But it just really off and on. Um and uh and pinball arcade I uh I thought I was total shit. That's what I thought. But apparently, um, apparently Kataro '88 or '87 or whatever—I can't remember what his uh, last two digits was. But you guys probably know of him. He's um, probably my uh, most consistent regular. I mean, he's on almost every day that I'm on. But he was actually giving me compliments all the way. Or let me rephrase that—he actually seemed to think otherwise. You know, he would compliment me on one table good run Joe or then he'd um the hell's that guy doing uh. 
Okay. But anyway, hold on. Wait, well, yeah, you know, I'll be... You know, I thought I would have done totally bad on one table, but Kitaro was like, Hey, great run, Joe! And I'm like, okay, I guess. You know, and I mean, at the end of, you know, and at the end of the session, excuse me, at the end of the session, he's, great session! And I'm like, okay, I guess. I mean, because, because, because again, I thought I was shit. Like, it just, it's like, it was as though I was under some kind of curse or something. You know, couldn't make shots. And, um, either, either I wasn't making shots or the table seemingly had magnets on the bottom of the table and it was constantly draining. So, I didn't think I did very good at all. And, but, you know, you know, and I had bunches of people coming on, you know, the, you know, how else could I put it? Well, I guess, I guess the gold standard that I've been doing is, um, I guess I was good enough to be on for three hours. So, like, I didn't, I guess I wasn't, I wasn't so awful that I just said, ah, oh, fuck it, and then ended up, uh, ended up quitting the session. So, but, like, like I said, this, I'm... I'm still, I'm still trying to figure out what the hell happened. You know, I'd get a, I'd get a bunch of, you know, I'd get a bunch of people on, you know, checking me out, even though, again, I thought I did poorly. But, yep, yeah, there they are. So, it's just really weird. So, but, like I, like I said, um, like I said a few moments ago, it, it's pretty much, I mean, I was on, I was, it was a three hour session, so I guess I wasn't that bad. So what happened here? Hey, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta back this up. Oh, somebody got hurt. That, uh, is that what I think it is? Body bag? There's the Team Metro. Kind of wish we had one in, um, kind of wish we had one of these in our neck of the woods. We actually do, but it, um, I think it only works like, uh, or I think it only, I think it only runs like twice a day and that's it. KS95, that's an old radio station I grew up with. I don't want, I don't listen to the radio anymore. Um... So, um, another, another thing that stuck out today. Yeah. Okay, so I guess we'll call this mistake number one. But, um, one of my favorite channels, Not Just Bikes, came out with their new video. Um, checked it out. I don't exercise. My city does that for me. So this was... This is yet another pro Netherlands, pro Netherlands video, which, you know, as much as much as I as much as I like this channel, they are really beating a dead horse right now with the whole, with the whole Netherlands thing. I mean, I get it, you know. I, in fact, let me go ahead and pause the background stuff real quick. I, I originally wasn't planning on doing this, but yeah, I'll... I forgot what the hotkey was to make this... I think it was this. Yeah. Not, 
not quite perfect, but you know, I don't exercise. My city, my city does that for me. And he lives in um, he lives in Amsterdam. Business parks suck, but they don't have to. They could be just like the ones here where I live in Amsterdam. The only car-free neighborhood in Canada, other than the one where I live in Amsterdam. Suburbia, suburbia is subsidized. Here's the math, which is so totally opposite of where I live here in Amsterdam. Dutch cities, like the one I live in in Amsterdam, are better for the environment. And I don't, I don't, I don't watch shorts. I don't really care for them. Oh, okay, so he's on Nebula now. Okay, how to quickly build a cycling city, just like the one I have here in Amsterdam. The trains that killed an airline. But if they follow the example like here where I live in Amsterdam, they don't have to. You, you kind of get the idea. Um, no. Yeah, that one. So anyway, latest, latest video. Checked it out. Um... Okay, let me go ahead and let me go ahead and fix this back up. So, but like like I said, it it's just he's really beating a dead horse right now. So here, let me let me get the other video back on. But sorry about that. I I wasn't planning on doing that. It just kind of came out of me. So, and I, you know, and I guess for those that, you know, for those who might say, Well, gee, Joe, if you don't like it, don't watch it. Well, 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 yeah, I, I, I got about, I got about two-thirds of the way through that video, and I just came to the conclusion that, man, he is really beating a dead horse with the whole Netherlands and Amsterdam thing. So, chances are, I'm probably going to be checking that channel out less. Yo, know, I'll probably, I'll probably watch his next video, but if it sounds like the conversation is going to be steered towards his love of Amsterdam, then yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably shit can and watch something else. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a drink of some more, uh, some green tea here. Hold on. You know what? And don't, don't get me wrong here. You know, I totally agree with him. I mean, our, you know, this country. Um, especially my neck of the woods, you know, and I'm, and I guess here in Minneapolis as well. I mean, we could sure use more walkability here. And no, not, and no, not just sticking on uh, having green crosswalks at the intersections. And I've said this in other casts too, that's actually more dangerous. Because the, uh, the, the green crosswalks that you might see from time to time are bike paths. Which are, again, they're actually more dangerous because they're being located towards the center of the damn intersection. Where they're more like right way out in the open. If anything, they should have just cut the, uh, white, the, the white crosswalks in half and just made it half bike, half pedestrian or something like that. But not putting them out towards the middle of the intersection. So, but, but again, go, you know, you know, going back, you know, like I, like I said a few moments ago, I agree with them. You know, because the infrastructure, the, the infrastructure in this country is pretty much ass right now. So, yeah, to me, to me, the Netherlands, and I guess where he lives, Amsterdam, is pretty much the gold standard as far as uh, city planning goes. It's very walkable, it's very bikeable. And it's like he said in his current video, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't actually need to go out and exercise. He doesn't need a gym membership. I mean, with all the walking and cycling that he does on a daily basis, he doesn't need to, because of how the cities are, because of how the city's designed. But you know, it just him const, constantly, every freaking video, it's it's always some variation of kissing Amsterdam's ass. So you know, it doesn't it doesn't make for good video watching when it's all just a variation on a theme. So, yeah, so to, to answer anybody's comment, yeah, I'm 
not gonna be probably not gonna be watching that much of his videos now. I mean, if they're just gonna be another way of saying I love it here in Amsterdam, then yeah, I'll probably ax it and then go watch something else. <laughs> kind of the same thing I did from watching rugby, my all-time favorite sport, to another really goofy, weird fetish of mine, watching cop chases. So I'm back on that now. Dash cam videos. So I mean, not, you know, but uh, it's they've got to be. Uh, I'm kind, I'm kind of like this with car crashes too. I mean, the ones I watch are predominantly Russian ones, but they don't have to be. I mean, they can be pretty much any place where there's cars, or that has that has cars. But um, I'm kind of, I'm kind of picky about my uh, cop chase videos. I mean, for one, it's got to have sound. Like some of the uh, some of the chase videos don't have any sound at all. Oh, and at number two, it it can't be uh, it it has to be dash cam footage, raw footage, like no no new no news stories or anything like that. Today on channel, you know, this is Channel Five News, and today on or today there was a cop chase at Highway 200, or you know something like that. Nothing like that, just raw dash cam footage. So it, it's got to be that. Um, and two, no, and no obnoxious watermarks. I don't know the name of the channel, and if I did, I hate the fucking channel so much, I wouldn't even mention its name. But they, they've got a big, transparent, obnoxious watermark right in the middle of the fucking screen. As well as a big, huge one in the upper right corner. So that's another big requirement. It, it, I'm cool with watermarks, but they gotta be like in the upper right corner and they can't be freaking massive or anything. So they can't be too much of a distraction, but again, some of these, uh, some of these, uh, some of these car cop chase channels, they have them. They, the watermarks are like too big, they're too in the way. So. But yeah, like I said, that's another little weird, weird, bet, weird quirk of mine. I like watching uh, cop chases from time to time. But I'm, but so, but I'm also kind of practicing what I'm preaching too. I mean, yeah, I'll, you know, whether it's something I watch, something I listen to, I'm not a fan of beating dead horses when I, when I don't, when I don't quite have the passion or don't quite have the interest in. Whatever content I'm watching or listening to, I I go off to something else. So Okay, but um otherwise that's pretty much gonna do it for me. Um I pretty much said all the things that I wanted to say today, so I'll just go ahead and leave it there. Uh, but otherwise, hey, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And, um, and barring any other severe weather or anything like that, I, sh I should be at work. Uh, I should be at work tonight and tomorrow, which means you won't be hearing from me again until Sunday morning. So, but until then, though, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye for now.